Party program atayon. So let us remember the sacrifices of our forefathers who gave their lives in order to have a better society, free from eternal intervention. At kay kay sa tayo ng road ng mga itan dodo, iti kinapatek, iti waya waya, ng mga itun da kaya mga itorong kada tayo iti puno ng progreso. Thank you so much and God bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all. Oh, there's some words from Mom Cynthia. Actually, we can have a short open mic if you want. Um, I think that we cannot end this program and say goodbye to the d dancers and performers of this cultural program without saying another thank you. It is not easy to dance in hot asphalt it under the hot sun and they danced like they were in the cool shadow of our mountains so it's amazing you know um for us who watch it it really brings back memories of what when we were back in our homeland when we were children dancing those dances and it also i i'm i'm sure you know it means a lot to you to be able to dance your cultural dances, your 
native Filipino dancers. We want to thank you so very much. You are so graceful and you were dancing with your heart. I, it was fun to watch you and we were experiencing, you know, our culture again with you. So that's, that's very nice. Um, I, I, you know, you ought to be showcased more. <laughs> I, I, I um, have to congratulate your choreographer and your, your um, teacher and trainer. God, so professional, so professional. Thank you so much. Wow. We'll see more of you, okay? We'll come to see you in Delano. Yeah! Another round of applause! who's taken all these beautiful pictures of today and Suzanne brought all these dancers here so we'd like to say thank you Suzanne for always being part of our community and being standing together on this very special day thank you um, getting the kids to dance isn't hard they love to dance um, they are sticklers for authenticity they respect their costume their culture They've learned a lot about who they are as Filipinos. They, I hope for the ones who are going on to college, they participate in their PCNs at college, which is where they got most of their dances. Uh, but they're creative, and they've been doing this UFO, and it is a play on word of letters. The United Filipino Organization's been around since 1970s. I was uh, not a member in high school, cause, uh, but um, I've watched the organization grow. It's been around for over 40 years in Delano. It has spread to the Kennedy High School campus and the Chavez High School campus. So, And the kids perform in one night, all three high schools on one stage, because they get along and understand the concept of unity. So if uh, in your heart of hearts, you guys would like to donate to their gas to get back to Delano, that would be great because they're high school students and they're not working and they beg the parents for cars. So they have to put gas back in those cars. So thank you again for inviting us. I think they really enjoyed themselves. Thanks for the free t-shirts. You know what that means to a high school kid. Okay, thank you again so much. Thanks, Suzanne. Oh my goodness. You're always welcome here, okay? We have um, Youth Center, Lupis Promise. So it's a safe and uh, trustworthy place for young people to get uh, gather. We have pool tables, we have pianos, we have two pianos. And you can sing your heart out and there's an area for dancing too. So, so you should come once in a while. You are welcome.